how important is a therapeutic disclosure? Mission critical. Now there are women who are, they decide they don't need it and they don't want it. And that is completely your prerogative mm -hmm. to not want it or need it. That's what, it's fine to not want it or need it. Usually the disclosure is as helpful for him as it is for you. Typically the partner is the one who asks for it. He doesn't want to come, come out with some of this. He thinks it's going to kill him to be honest about his last stronghold of his last kernel of truth. Yeah. The truth is what sets us free, right? So he needs it. The last question she has is, is a polygraph always needed? I'm a fan. I am too. doing both. And sometimes guys who are ready, their reaction in the beginning might be like a lie detector test. Like, no, I'm not gonna do that or whatever their, their default reaction, even though they are really ready for recovery. We actually have, um, you know, the very, very beginning of our Men in the Battle curriculum. We talk about the therapeutic disclosure and, and the polygraph. I tell guys that, you know, they should ask, would you like me to do this <laughs> and be open? So I think the more open he is, to doing it, the less you might need it. Does that make sense? You know, so if you're asking if, it, if it's necessary or not for the women who yeah. decide not to do it. If he's like, oh, absolutely, you know, in fact, I'd like to go take a polygraph test just just for my own, you know, uh, accountability and send the results to the guys in my men in the battle group. Like if he's that fanatical about healing and recovery, then the less you probably actually need to have it done. But the, the polygraph, I see guys that are really, really ready to heal and change. They, they want to do it. They're actually excited about it because they know it's going to help them with accountability. It's going to be part of their motivator. But that's an exception. Yeah. Like it's more common that a man doesn't want to do it. And that doesn't necessarily yeah. mean he will never change, but one out of five men actually end up really embracing recovery and pursuing it with, yeah. with no potential loss. And I'm not saying give him an ultimatum to get him to change because that's control and manipulation. Yeah. But do you, do you need a boundary for you to feel safe? Cause if your motive is I can't live like this. But your fear of setting a boundary is, then what if he just leaves? What if our marriage is just over? How's this gonna impact, you know, the whole fallout from that, which is horrible. But the reality is that many of them are in so much denial that they have a problem that they don't move until a fire is lit under their butt.